everyone, it's Skippy. Moonlight Peaks just released their free demo last week, and I want to cover what we got to experience at its first real look at gameplay and the mechanics within it. And if you didn't know already, Moonlight Peaks is a cute farm sim with a gothic vampire mythological twist. I can't even begin to explain the fun I had when playing through each night. This game incorporates a lot of really cute building mechanics with a bunch of different furniture to choose from, floor tiles, and you can move pretty much anything around on your farm. And one of the best things I noticed is that you can stand anywhere on your farm and move something all the way across on the other side of the farm. This makes updating your farm, placing furniture, tiles, and getting rid of them very convenient and not frustrating. I found the building mechanics to be super smooth and I didn't have any real issues when decorating my farm. Now crops and herbs are a main point of this game like any farm sim. Planting seeds and cultivating your crops are really important and I'm assuming for recipes in the future and herbs are really important for potions that you can craft at your cauldron. Now what's interesting is the crops and the herbs are separated to where you grow the herbs in an herb garden and then you dry them on a drying rack where the crops can be placed pretty much anywhere down on the ground like a normal farm sim. Now the character portraits in this game are super amazing. I love the detail to each character's icon when you speak to them, and I love the art style that they've chosen too. In the demo, we've only been able to meet two characters, the mayor, and a toad who sells you seeds at the bottom of the farm. Now on the Steam page, you can see a list of romanceable characters, which I'll show here, and I just love everyone and how they look. I think the art style that they chose for this game matches the theme and the overall game as well. Another neat part too, is that everything has animal-like qualities. You have your shipping bin that has a bunch of eyeballs all over it, our hellcat, and there's all sorts of other things that float around that you can catch with the butterfly net. Which brings me to how some of the mechanics in this game are similar to Animal Crossing. You can catch bugs and souls with the butterfly net, you can shake trees to get wood, the tool wheel is very fluid and is very easy to switch between tools and what you need, and you can pick up trees and replace them around your farm using a spell. And as I said before, spells are a huge part of this game to help grow your crops and to help decorate your farm. In the demo, we were able to unlock a couple of spells that helped grow your crops faster, helped water them for you, and move different things around the map. The graphics of this game are really nice, and I did not have any frame rate issues at all. It is very well optimized so far, and it's looking very good for the full re release of the game. Now, future things to look forward to are visiting the rest of the town, meeting all the other villagers, finding a romance, and engaging in the main storyline, which we got a glimpse of when we first started by getting letters in the mail from our mom and our dad explaining why we were there in the first place. Which turns out, we are Dracula's child, and the town doesn't really like us very much, as indicated by the mayor. One of the really cool aspects of this game is the shape-shifting. You can turn into a bat and fly all over your farm much faster than you can by running through the grass, which really weighs you down. There were also a few cute little quirky things I noticed about the game too, which I think is great that the devs put so much attention to detail. If you walk too close to your golem holding the pickaxe, he starts to sweat and becomes very nervous. I felt really bad though because he was probably my favorite little animal that we had on the farm. So far, I loved everything about the game, and I had a very fun time playing the seven in-game nights, which actually takes a lot longer than you'd think. I think the developers have done a wonderful job so far, and I'm really, really excited for the full release of this game. And I couldn't be more happier to have participated in the decorating demo. So go ahead and comment your thoughts and experience if you've already played, or head over to Steam and download the demo. I've read a lot of people have played twice just to experience the first seven nights all over again, so you can play the demo as many times as you like while it's available. Check out Moonlight Peaks' Twitter page to stay updated on the game's progress and its release. And as always, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more updates and content from me, and I'll see you in the next one.